All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, I wanted to make a uh, an announcement for you guys. Uh, I'm really excited to let you guys know that the website, my blog, figboss.com, has dramatically changed. I've been putting a lot of work into it. Uh, it's much more beautiful, more functional, much more informational. Uh, the layout's different. And so what I wanted to do is go through in this video a lot of the changes and then hopefully you guys at the end of this video maybe you want to add something you want me to change something uh, let me know down in the comments after you guys get a second here to go through the website yourself I would highly recommend it and also at the bottom of the page you can scroll down and you can put your email in there and subscribe to the newsletter and that just kind of lets you guys know whenever I create a new blog post um, it's definitely not very spammy so um, I would highly recommend that you guys do that uh, but let's kind of look here at the, the front page here of the blog that we know so well. We've changed a little bit up here at different fonts, different colors. Uh, we have some nice buttons here. And then the blog itself, um, you know, it has the same original posts that we've been making. And by the way, the reason for a lot of these changes is because the blog has been getting a lot of attention. And so... I've just been kind of picking this up with Google. Google's like sending me uh, emails of analytics and things, and the website is just getting picked up in a lot of fig-related searches. And so I said, you know what, let's put some more work into this, and I think it's going to pay off, and it certainly has in my opinion. But the blog looks relatively the same. Uh, we've been making a lot of posts recently because a lot of these posts are going to be uh, kind of put together into a book that I'm writing. And I know that I had to put that on hold, because of the CPA exam, but a lot of these things, like uh, you can see here, we just created, by the way, a lot of fig profile flavor, uh, flavor profile posts, uh, because we actually just made a new flavor profile page. Uh, we also made a new variety directory page. So these are really uh, beautiful things here. We can go to the learn tab here at the top. And so I have, first off, let's look at the variety directory. Uh, this has got a number of varieties here that I've covered or at least talked about on the blog, maybe in its own separate posts. I know that for something like Black Madeira, as an example, you can click on the photo, you can click on the, uh, the name. There's also a navigation tool here, uh, a little bit of a you know rundown of the, the variety. But if you click on it, it'll bring you to a much larger blog post of that particular variety. So you can learn about it. Um, I think it's very functional this way, and uh, it's beautiful. I think it works out great. And then, of course, any variety you ever want to read about, this is a nice little page here to go to uh, to see some of my thoughts on on these particular figs. And a, and a variety like Black Madeira, we've done a full variety review on that. And I wanted to do a full variety review on a number of varieties that I would consider standards, figs that are very common, uh, figs that you see a lot uh, very often, and you should probably know a lot of details about them. So something like Black Madeira got a lot of uh, writing here and details about it, where others are maybe a bit um, a bit shorter. But so that's the the variety directory. Then we have the flavor profiles page that I created, and so uh, this is just basically taking the spreadsheet that we had in the description, making it much more beautiful, much more functional. Uh, and just updating it because I haven't updated that spreadsheet in like three years. There's been a lot of changes, different thoughts I have now on flavor. And so we talk about the four basic components of fig flavor. Uh, then I go on to the profiles down here. And then every profile so far, other than actually the, uh, the complex berry category, because there's a lot of figs in that category. I haven't created the blog post for that one yet. But let's say you wanted to uh, read about sugar figs. You click on the sugar figs, and then it brings you right to uh, all the details of what a sugar fig is, talking all about this flavor profile, this category, and then it talks about all the varieties in here. And I talk about Celeste, which actually used to be called sugar, by the way. It was the sugar fig. We talk about brown turkey, Brunswick, Osborne Prolific, all the sugar figs as we go down the list here, basically, uh, and talk about some of the more common ones, some of the lesser common ones. And so, yeah, it just is so functional. It works out really well. It's beautiful. We talk about texture. And, uh, yeah, by the way, down here at the bottom of the page, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter. 
as I said earlier in the video. Uh, and then if you go to the other things on the Learn tab, we have other posts that I've made in the past. And one of my favorites actually is the fig tree timeline. I don't think this thing gets enough attention. I mean, it did have, you know, 22, 2300 views, which is nice. Uh, but it tells you uh, in a calendar sense what exactly it is that you should be doing. And so I think this this post is like really valuable. It talks about every single thing you would need to do. We also have a... A, a thing here about the fig commandments. And I talked about this uh, last year. We talk about water, we talk about food, sunlight, temperature, pruning, all the things that are really, really important, the basics of figs. We talk about hardy fig varieties, the fig commandments. Uh, we did a video on this one. Um, oh, we did, we just talked about the fig commandments. And then the 15 steps to success which is like a nice little checklist to make sure that you're not making any mistakes. Uh, again, these are all really nice things for like beginners and things. We talk about late frost, early frost. And then of course we go on to the growing tips and this is a whole new section here on the site as well. We talk about, you know, problems you may run into like not getting fruit, things you should uh, pay attention to in rainy climates, sunlight, fertilizer, you know, the form pruning, all the different things that we've covered here on the blog is going into this growing tips section that eventually will expand into um, a more complete list, but it's great. We also have a little contact form here if you guys need to contact me for whatever. Uh, and then of course we actually have our store and uh, we have very, very recently, which we'll talk a little bit more about this. Uh, we've added a whole merch section. Now, of course we have the, uh, the plants and cuttings, that I always sell on Figbit. We probably will begin selling some cuttings this winter exclusively on the site, but um, we actually have a few trees for sale right now, but coming up in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna have a lot of trees. I removed so many air layers. Um, I also am gonna be bare rooting trees. So I probably have somewhere around 75 trees in the coming weeks, um, maybe the coming month uh, for sale. And then, of course, we also have merch, and this is just crazy to me, but we'll probably do a whole separate announcement video just on the merch and probably also on the uh, the fig trees that we'll have for sale in the next coming month. Um, but, uh, yeah, we have so much merch here. Um, it's been amazing to actually to actually have a logo that is, in my opinion, you know, likable and uh a good representation of what we do on the blog um, and on the, the channel here. I really like this notebook. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got, of course, uh, the front and back important fig notes for uh, the fig growers eyes only. Um, I take notes all the time when I'm outside and uh, I, I'm going to probably get myself one. We also got bags, water bottles, um, iPhone cases, different phone cases. But what I think is really cool is actually these stickers. And so we have a lot of stickers, but depending on the variety itself, I've made so many stickers. We got shirts, we got hoodies, we got sweaters, we got aprons. And then look at all these stickers I've been creating. They're beautiful. Um, absolutely beautiful. Here's one uh, that I would say is probably the most beautiful is Grease Day St. Jean. And so this sticker is just stunning. And so some of these things are, um, we'll talk about the prices of all this, but how this all works is that, uh, Teespring here, the website I've kind of connected all this to is, is, um, it's very easy to use. It all connects to my, to my YouTube channel, which we'll see that soon on my, my YouTube videos. You'll see the, the store there, the merch. Um, but it, you know, Teespring is really nice because it, it does everything for me. I create everything. They make it custom order depending on what you guys order, and then they ship it to you. And so I don't have to do anything. In fact, they're the whole company that's based on all the merch. And so it's it's a great company. It's a great service. Um, and so they take a cut for doing all that for me. And then, of course, I get some profit. And uh, it's it's just a nice little thing. Uh, we got a lot of varieties here. I'm gonna plan to add more varieties of, of stickers, but also we're gonna probably have an, uh, another logo coming soon. And then we're also gonna have uh, posters. I'm gonna create a few posters of various different things that I think are gonna be 
really, really nice. So uh, I highly recommend you guys check out all the stuff. There is a crap ton of information here on the blog. Once again, figboss.com. And this is kind of like the nice central location to how to get to every little thing I do. You can even get to the videos this way. I have podcast videos that I filmed years ago on this site. Um, and it's just, uh, it's beautiful. It's nice. I love it. So thank you guys here for watching this one. We'll see you soon. Check out uh, the blog and hit that subscribe button. See you guys for the next one.